Hello, welcome to another Q Breakdown. Uh, this is an investigative tension type of Q. It's possibly a bit more in depth than the countdown Q from the other week. So working on a countdown type Q might be easier. This is slightly more uh, in depth as you will see as we go along. I will remind you to please like and subscribe so that you find out when these videos come out. Um, I always forget to remind people at the beginning and then by the time we get to the end everyone forgets. And uh, Anyway, thank you very much if you've remembered to do that. Um, what I'll do is I'll play through the track and while it's going through I'll click on some of the different sections as they're going past so you'll see them pop up in the piano roll as well. So let's get a bit of a focus on that. And this is what we are going to be looking at. Okay, there you have it. Investigative tension track. A couple of things to notice to start with. It is quite a slow tempo, 90 BPM. We are in 4-4. Uh, that key signature is not correct. Uh, we are in A minor, basically. Let's just run through the instruments that are being used here. So this soft piano runs through the entire piece. That is the uh, key part to it. All it is doing is it's using A minor so with the E at the bottom and the tension investigative uncertainness comes from this B and the C being used together so you've got well with pretty much any of the 
uh, white notes as a bass. That's all there is to it and it keeps that regular rhythm so you know something is going on in the background. Um, I do have the octave piano uh, hits in here so if we just solo these what I've done there that's different from the other one is I don't have the reverb on the channel so the main part has reverb on it but when it comes to the low hits it doesn't overwhelm and there's the one at the end as well nice um, then we've got um, Fragile strings from Spitfire. These are literally holding out nice long notes. And later on, we put in ricochets as well, which are these. And let's just think about the structure a bit like. Uh, the countdown tension cue we had again there's this introduction section up to about here then when the bass comes in that is our proper main A section then we've got um, a breakdown and then back into a bigger A so it's sort of like intro to A a B and then a bigger A that rises to an ending at about two minutes 30. Okay so we've got piano and we've got some strings so subtle strings to start with in the intro you just introduce the idea of them just before the bass and then bring them back build on them at the very end. Um, so that's our piano group in green, our strings in brown. Then we've got the synth or high synth type sounds. So we've got Polaris with this sound. And this is one of the tracks. Oh, that one hasn't been automated. But it is quite low in the mix, as you can see down here. I've pulled it down negative 24 there. Because it, it because it cuts through so well. So something's cutting through really well. You don't need to overdo it. Um, then we've got these textural uh, combis from Contemporary Drama Toolkit. And there's the Enormo Glass. Pretty much taken from running a finger around the rim of a glass. Um, what did we do here? So these are these sort of synth runs. So introduce them there. Slight variation here. Yep, so they're just popping in and out. Then we've got these three, which are the bass instruments. I've separated them out from the higher synths um, for the sake of wanting to. Um, bounce them out for the library. 
place today is this low pad from Polaris. synth pulse and then a really subby bass there um, with each of these you'll notice these first two if you look at the EQ here have got their top end rolled off and the deep textured bass because it was so subby has actually had some of the very subs taken out of it as well. So together, really nice solid section to put everything else on top of. Um, there's only one set of risers that have used in here from Red Cola. Now, the rest of this is percussion. All of this is, we start off with this sort of tapping glass texture. Then we've got Sounds a bit like uh, Knight Rider. Uh, it is No Illegal Connections from Martin Ware. So it's just been filtered on the top and the bottom as well. Then we've got uh, a Madka performance from Inder Goldfinger and also a Tabla. So they add a bit of motion. I think with investigation stuff, you don't want to go too mad, but some of this tapping percussion is lovely. Uh, we've got Albion One percussion. Doing some hits. Uh, the BBC symbols literally, you know, it's a couple of those in there. Then this is the drummer. you'll notice that massively heavily EQ'd so we only get the bottom end and I've only used the cajon part of it so it's taking something that's already done like the Logic Drummer but then you know messing about with it making it your own half the fun speaking of making it your own that is what these last two tracks are, um, is just audio recorded in of me with a shaker. Um, if we hear this one first. You'll notice it has got some reverb, a compressor and the channel EQ. Literally, I only wanted the top end for this. If we take those off, this is the original sound. Stick those back on. Just sort of places it a bit, a bit more spacious, a bit more airy, and it punches through a little bit better. And again, just tried another effect here.
So that's more of a, I think that's a standard rhythm I've just used all the way through there. Um, it has got some EQ and compression. Oh no, it hasn't. Let's have a look. Ah, I only put reverb and EQ on this one. But once you put that channel EQ on, you only get that very top end. And with the reverb, you get a tiny bit of ring out as well. Um, so that's it for the instruments that we used. We've talked about the structure. Intro A, B is more of a breakdown rather than a variation. And then back into a big A. Um, we are always building the percussion up as we go through. Uh, the bass glues things together. There is a constant cinematic soft piano going through the entire piece. Um, is there anything on the mixing console that I haven't mentioned? Not particularly. You'll notice I have gone through, there's some automation here on this Polaris bass. I think that was the only thing, apart from, well, I've automated the intro and the ending here just to make sure everything comes in or goes out for bouncing. And yeah, I've just made sure the the tails of the pads have faded by the time we get to the end. That's all there was for the automation in that, I think. Nothing overly complicated. Um, but yeah, when it all comes together, that's the sort of stuff that is getting used in TV and film. When somebody says, can I have some investigative tension music that's the sort of thing that they are probably thinking of so go wild come up with your own variations of that follow that pattern because whatever you do you won't come up with something that sounds the same even if you tried to load up exactly the same instruments um like and subscribe always appreciated and i'll see you in the next video take care have a good day bye for now